and Cardamotive suggested that convertibles need only around 150 horsepower for a relaxing and occasionally sporty open-air experience, it made sense. However, the 2024 Mercedes-AMG SL 63 SE performance, producing roughly five times that amount, offers a compelling counterpoint. After spending some time behind the wheel of AMG's latest plug-in hybrid hot rod, we have to admit a falter back as engineers might have some good points, 805 of them, to be exact. Silent and violent. Much like the GT Coupe with which it shares a platform, the SL63's e-performance variant boasts a 603 horsepower, twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V, 8 engine delivering 627 pound-feet of torque through a 9-speed automatic transmission that uses a wet clutch instead of a traditional torque converter. The complexity of the e-performance powertrain lies in the rear axle. An electric drive unit consists of a motor with 201 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque, a two-speed transmission, an electronically controlled limited slip differential, an inverter, and a 4.8 kilowatt-hour liquid-cooled lithium-ion battery pack. Remarkably, the e-motor can even send torque forward to the front axle, enabling electric-only all-wheel drive. The SL operates in a world of excess. When the SL badge was first introduced in the early 1950s, it stood for super light, super light. Fast forward about 70 years, and nothing about the current generation SL seems lightweight. Mercedes states that electrified elements add approximately 500 pounds to the gas-only SL63, bringing the e-performance variant to a hefty 4,850 pounds. Speaking of excess, when all powertrain elements are fully engaged, the combined output of the SL63 SE performance is a staggering 805 horsepower and 1047 pound-feet of torque, thanks to some complex EV calculations. Similar to the equally potent GT63 SE performance, it delivers exhilarating sensations, especially with race start mode activated. The 4.0-liter V8 vibrates in its mounts, producing a symphony of pops and burbles. Release the brake, and the SL launches forward, devouring the road. The brutal acceleration feels like it's rearranging your insides. The electric motor provides full thrust in 10-second bursts before settling into 94 horsepower increments for 60 seconds. Just like its hardtop counterpart, we expect it to sprint to 60 miles per hour in under 2.5 seconds and cover the quarter mile in just over 10 seconds. Although the e-performance variant is expected to offer only a few miles of electric-only range, cruising on battery power alone is especially enjoyable in the SL. Switching through eight driving modes to electric mode silences the V8, leaving just the wind in your hair, or, in our case, what's left of it, and the fresh sense of southern Germany's newly baled hay. Mercedes claims the SL e-performance can reach up to 87 miles per hour in electric mode. There are four levels of brake regeneration available, though none offer true one-pedal driving, and the strongest modes are disabled when the battery is nearly full. In the sportiest driving modes, the V8 starter generator can rapidly recharge the battery. If the battery is depleted upon arrival, the SL's 3.7 kW onboard charger can recharge it in about 2 hours using a 220-volt outlet, or nearly 5 hours with a 110-volt setup. Super legit! Despite its hefty weight, the SL 63S E performance handles with surprising finesse. The standard rear axle steering allows the car to gracefully navigate winding hillside roads. While the steering feel isn't enhanced, it is more relaxed compared to the reactive nature of the GT steering, thanks to a structure with 40% less torsional rigidity, narrower Michelin Pilot Sport S5 tires, and electronically controlled dampers with softer valving. Like the GT, the SL uses a hydraulic anti-roll control system instead of a traditional anti-roll bar setup. This system links the corners hydropneumatically to reduce body roll, with tuning that varies between comfort and sport driving modes. In the SL, the system operates at lower pressure to allow for more body movement. Unsurprisingly, the e-performance model pairs its impressive performance with powerful brakes. Up front, six piston calipers grip the massive 16.5-inch carbon ceramic rotors. In the rear, 15.0-inch rotors are paired with single piston calipers that, while less imposing, still deliver strong braking power. However, the brake pedal's inconsistent pressure is a notable drawback, a flaw we also noticed in the GTZ performance variant. 
The response of the left pedal is unpredictable, varying between firm readiness and a bit of travel without any clear indication. This inconsistency, combined with Mercedes-Benz' intentionally adjustable brake pedal position even under sustained pressure, continues to be a source of frustration. Who asked for this? Then again, who asked for an 805 horsepower convertible with a plug-in hybrid powertrain and all-wheel drive? We're not sure, but hopefully they're willing to pay supercar money for this high-luster hustler. Its $208,150 starting point is a big pill to swallow, but the dual major aptitude of the SL63 SE performance will undoubtedly satisfy any owner who gets their hands on one when they arrive in the US later this summer. Mercedes AMG SL63 SE Performance Pros and Cons The 2024 Mercedes AMG SL63 SE Performance is a formidable machine that blends luxury, performance, and electrification. However, like any vehicle, it has its strengths and weaknesses. Pros Unmatched performance With a combined output of 805 horsepower and 1047 lbft of torque, this car delivers mind-blowing acceleration. It's a true performance beast. Luxurious interior. The SL63 SE Performance offers a lavish cabin with high-quality materials, advanced technology, and comfortable seating. Hybrid technology. The plug-in hybrid system provides both impressive power and potential fuel economy benefits, especially in electric-only mode. Sophisticated handling. Despite its weight, the car handles remarkably well thanks to advanced suspension technology. Iconic design. The SL's classic Roadster silhouette combined with modern AMG styling creates a striking appearance. Cons. Weight. The hybrid system adds considerable weight, which can affect handling and agility compared to the standard SL63. High price. As a top-tier performance luxury vehicle, the SL63 SE Performance comes with a premium price tag. Practicality. As a convertible, rear seat space is limited, and cargo capacity is compromised compared to a coupe or sedan. Complex technology. The advanced technology, while impressive, can be overwhelming for some drivers. Limited electric range. While the electric-only range is decent for a plug-in hybrid, it's still relatively short compared to dedicated electric vehicles. In conclusion, the Mercedes-AMG SL63 SE Performance is a thrilling and luxurious vehicle that offers exceptional performance. However, potential buyers should carefully consider the trade-offs between performance, practicality, and cost before making a decision. Positive Aspects Luxurious interior, high-quality materials, comfortable seats, and advanced climate control contribute to a serene cabin environment. Adaptive Suspension the AMG Active Ride Control System effectively manages road imperfections, providing a smooth ride in most conditions. Sound insulation. The car is well insulated from road and wind noise, creating a peaceful atmosphere. Electric-only mode. Cruising in electric mode offers a quiet and refined experience.